All right, let's get one thing straight. Most DaVinci Resolve Music City Reframe copycat tutorials out there, they are just wrong. If you are trying to reframe your AK to see footage from camera like the Insta to see X4 or the brand new Cool Cam 3 Ultra, you are probably getting pixelated results. Don't worry, as the original source, Angel Hazelton and I have the correct solution for you. In this video, I will show you the real way to reframe 360 video in DaVinci Resolve for the best image quality. And I will prove it with side-by-side -side comparison. Plus, we are going beyond the basics with a powerful new plugin that gives you on-screen reframe controls just like the install using mobile app or GoPro FX reframe in Adobe Premiere. Ready to level up your 360 game? Let's do this! DaVinci Resolve is a very powerful editing software for 260 video as well as 2D video. With the latest machine learning update, you can now apply AI denoise and professional sharpening right inside the color page with just a click. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of Install 60 Studio versus DaVinci Resolve 19 after AI Denoise. And you can see why professionals prefer resource over the free Install 60 Studio. We introduced this workflow three years ago with Andrew Hazelton, the developer of Cartavert. Since then, plenty of creators have put their own spin on it, which is awesome. We are not here for credit or shout outs. We just make cool shit and give it to the 360 community for free. But recently, I have noticed some big influencers, let's call them copycats, put out their own version of this workflow in a sponsored content from Insta360. And here's the kicker, they make mistakes and we have been flooded with support comments. I mean, seriously, dude, if you get paid from using someone else's knowledge, at least credit the source. Maybe we are entitled to a cut of that Insta360 sponsorship paycheck, right? Joe aside, this video and all my camera reviews video are not sponsors. Credit doesn't really matter to us, but I do need to correct those mistakes to make sure our followers know the best workflow and get the best looking reframe video, especially if you are a content creator. And that is why you follow this channel, but if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and would help us out a lot. Free vs Pay DaVinci Resolve Everyone loves free software, but here is the catch with the free version of DaVinci Resolve. It limits your input video to 3840 by 2160, which is just 4K. When you are working with the install to see footage that captured in 5.7K or even 8K on the X4, that's reason number one your reframe video looks bad. Your source resolution is getting scaled down, so if you are choosing DaVinci Resolve for 360 reframing, you are going to need to invest in the studio version. The good news is way cheaper than Adobe Premiere and there's no subscription. I know people hate Adobe, but Adobe still offers one of the best 360 video workflow, especially for the Insta360 X4. So if you're interested, check out that tutorial right here. Future me here. For those of you who really don't want to pay for the Resource Studio, I got a hack that let you use 8K to see video input in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. What? I will drop a link right here for that tutorial for all your free users. So yes, you can absolutely replace Install Studio with the free version of DaVinci Resolve. How to reframe in Resolve? Step one, you need to export the highest resolution uncompressed AK360 video from Insta360 Studio or CoolCam Studio. Let's start with Insta360 Studio. First, turn off direction lock. It can mess with your reframing, so it's better to have it off. Now go to video export setting and choose export 360 video. And here is where those copycats get it wrong. Never use compressed delivered format like the H.264 or H.265 for your intermediate renders. Use uncompressed ProRes to keep 100% of your X4 image quality. Stick with AK resolution. 
don't change it. I know the file size is huge, but you can delete it after you are done to free up your hard drive space. Now let's hop over to CoolCam Studio for the CoolCam 3 Ultra workflow. Import your AK footage, turn on grid mode, and use the grid line to level your horizon. People make fun of CoolCam Studio, but it has some feature install the studio lacks, like the easy horizon leveling with the grid line. No ZZ camera's gyro leveling is perfect out of the box, not even the install ZZ X4. In fact, CoolCam Studio let you import install ZZ X4 footage, level and reframe it into ZZ, and then re-render it as ProRes. That is my secret to keep all my 360 videos super level. See, because I'm not sponsored, I can teach you workflow across different brands, letting you get the best of both worlds. They are all free software, so why not use the best of both? Back to CoolCam 3 Ultra footage, choose MOV ProRes and ProRes Auto 2 is good enough, then render it. Next, download the free Cutterbird plugin from Angel Hazleton. And don't forget to give the developer a shout out. If you don't know how to install Cutterbird's VR, follow our original tutorial links right here. If you're having issues installing the open source reactor, especially if your native language or OS system is not English, like in Chinese or Spanish, follow this link and read how to manually install Reactor and Carter VP on your local computers. After you install Reactor and Carterverse from us, open DaVinci Resolve Studio and drop in those ProRes files. Go to the edit page, right click on the clip and select create new timeline from selected clips. Uncheck use project setting and go to format. Now, here is the key part. The thing that every DaVinci Resolve 360 reframe tutorial out there gets it wrong. So do me a favor, write this down and thank me later. Manually set your timeline resolution to 76080 by 4320, which is 8K in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Your timeline width need to be match your footage width exactly, and the height should be calculated for a 16 by 9 ratio for social media. So it is not 3840, it's 4320. This works for both CoolCam 3 Ultra 8K and install to see X4 8K footage. For 5.7K on the X3 or X2, you use 5760 by 3220. That is great for YouTube video, but if you are doing YouTube short, Instagram Reel, or TikTok, make sure to use vertical resolution. The last mistake those copycats make is with the mitch match resolution setting. To get rid of black border, you need to pick stretch frame to all corners, but don't do it here. Let me quickly show you the problem. Hit OK and drop in KVR with Frame 360 Ultra. The footage look great, but when you add a 2D video afterward, it looks weird. Your timeline setting forces everything to stretch, so your 2D video, graphics, and even logo will get distorted. <laughs> to fix this, go back to your project setting and change mitch match resolution to stretch full frame with crop. Now, Kimchi's face and the 2D video looks normal now, but the 360 video doesn't. Here's the fix. Select only the 360 video. Open the inspector under retime and scaling. Choose stretch from the scaling drop down. Now your 360 video is fixed. From here, you can follow my original tutorial on KVR Reframe 360 Ultra to reframe your 360 video. But that was a workflow from three years ago that every YouTube tutorial maker copy. We have got something even better now, faster with full on-screen controls. I have been using it professionally. Now I'm sharing it to you. Again, free with love. Copy it, use it in your tutorial, it's free. But maybe, just maybe if you feel a little bit of appreciation, credit us in your video. Now go ahead and delete KVR with Frame 360 Ultra. I like to add an adjustment clip for a non-destructive workflow. Search for adjustment in your effect window, then drop in onto your timeline and extend it to match the length of your 360 video. Now search for KVR Viewer under effects. If you don't see it, it's because we just finished this macro for you and you need to update your reactor. To do that, go to Fusion, Workspace, Scripts, Reactor, Open Reactor. Under Cartaverse, you'll find 
Carter VP. VP stand for virtual production, by the way. Make sure you update KVL viewer right here. Once the update is done, restart DaVinci Resolve. Now, drag the KVL viewer macro onto your adjustment layer. Open your inspector window and set the image projection to 360 VR, which is what this camera is. If you are working with Canon R7, R5, Mark II, or R5C footage, select VR 180. This plugin works for both. If you need more information, check out this tutorial link right here. Uncheck Tiny Planet because, let's be real, no one like that for Shylock. Also, uncheck Auto Resolution and manually set the width and height to match your timeline resolution. For the X4, that is 4320 by 76080. Set the zoom level back to 1, which is 100% with no zoom. Now, select Fusion Overlay from the drop down menu right here, enable it, and you should see the green circle and the on screen controls. Drag the arrow to pan and tilt, and use the line to adjust the row. Want to reset a value? Just double click this little dot right here to reset. The large outer circle adjusts the zoom level. All of this setting can be keyframed. Playback might be slow right now, but don't worry, we will fix that shortly. Keep watching. Your animation needs to be smooth, so click on the Fusion icon and head over to the Fusion page. Select the KVR Viewers node right here, open the Spline Editors, check all the values, and click the Fit to View icon right here. Hit Ctrl C to select all the keyframe, then press the Auto Smooth button right here to zoom out the animation. If you need more help, with keyframe animation and velocity control, refer back to my tutorial from three years ago right here. Now, go back to edit page under playback, go to render cache and select smart to enable smart rendering. Right click on the adjustment layer, select render cache fusion effect filters, KVR viewers, and then go to the three dot right here in the top right corner of your viewer. Check show all video frames. Now, catch the timeline and wait for the red line to turn blue. By the way, don't waste your money on those so-called 360 editing course from expert. If they were real expert, you will see their 360 work already. Don't let them scam you with stolen knowledge. I'm just trying to save you some money here. If they were legit, they would be hiring by brand instead of scamming on the internet. Just saying. All right. Now that playback is smooth, you can refine your animation using the on-screen control. It is that easy, way better than Adobe Premiere GoPro FX Reframe or the Install to see Reframe plugin. Now that your reframe is done, let's learn how to export it correctly for social media. Head over to the render page. For YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok, you will want to use MP4 with a stock 265 codec. Quickly hop over to Audio tab and enable audio normalization. Under Standard, select YouTube for all social media delivery. Choose Optimize to Standard, a new feature in DaVinci Resolve 19, and Up, which uses machine learning to optimize and master your audio loudness within a standard range. Just another reason to choose DaVinci Resolve over Adobe Premiere or Install 360 Studio. And hey, drop Kimchi a thank you comment if you are taking these hidden tips. Now, go back to Video tab. Make sure your output resolution is set to 1080 by 1920, not 8K. Basically, you are working in full resolution right up until the final export step to preserve the best image quality. Set the quality to restrict to 30,000 or 40,000 if you are exported at 60 frames per second. This ensures you will get the best quality when uploading to YouTube or Instagram without the platform crashing your video with compression. Head over to the advanced setting and make sure force sizing and debayer to a highest quality is checked. Then add your project to the render queue and hit render all. And that's it. Your reframe video will look better than 99% of the video out there, including some of the install you see own posts. There is one problem if you have a slow computer. It is slow for an AK editing timeline. 
I have the MacBook Pro M3 Max and the Gigabit Aurora 17X with the RTX 4090 mobile GPU. No worry though, if you don't have that, I'm not gonna punish you if you have a slow computer. If you are a professional who would like to work fast in real time and save VRAM, I got an even better workflow for you. Pay close attention to this part, bookmark it. Come back to rewatch it if you can and practice it until you are mastering it. This is a long tutorial and the YouTube algorithm isn't exactly kind to that. That is why those copycat channels may get more views than us. But you know what? I don't care. I'm here to serve you, not the algorithm. If you learn something useful today, that's what make kimchi happy. So drop a comment and let us know what you want to learn next so we can help you even more. Now go back to edit page. This time, create a time, new timeline and set it to your delivered resolution. Something like 1920 by 1080. If you are making content for TikTok or Instagram, be sure to check the vertical resolution. Drag your AK360 video from the X4 or the Cool Cam 3 Ultra into the timeline. You can edit it if needed, but ideally, you have already set the correct in and out point in Install Studio to save storage space. Next, head over to the Effects panel, find Generator under the toolbox and select Solid Color. Drag that on top of your video clip and extend it to match the length of your 360 video. Right click on the solid color layer and select new compound clip. Make sure to name it the same as your 360 clip so it's easier to keep track of. Now, right click on the compound clip and choose open infusion page. If the media pool isn't showing, make sure to open it as well. Drag your 360 video into the fusion page. It should create a media in two node for you. With that node selected, hit shift plus spacebar and search for either KVR viewers or KVR 360 with flame archer. Then add it to your node tree. Disconnect the media one pipe and connect the KVR with frame archer output to the media out node. Select the KVR 3C Reframe Ultra or the KVR Viewers node. In the Inspector window, image, make sure your unchecked auto resolution and manually type in 1080 by 1920 as your output resolution. Important step, don't forget. I will also suggest adding an extra node after any KVR node called Auto Domain. It will help optimize your render, GPU usage, and fix any problem you're facing. It's the best practice. Now head back to the edit page and hit playback. You will notice it's way faster now since you are only playing back a 1080p window with light GPU acceleration effects. If you zoom in to 100%, you will see that the footage look just as good as what you will get from the Star 60 Studio, if not better. The only downside here is that you will need to do your reframing animation in the Fusion page instead of the edit page. So go back into Fusion page, add some keyframes, and use your own screen control to reframe your footage if you are using the new KVR viewers node. Open the spline panel, select all your keyframes with Ctrl C and hit the auto smooth button to smooth out the smooth out the transition. Once you have got everything looking good, head back to the edit page. To make playback even smoother, right click on the compound clip and select render in place. Choose ProRes 422 and save it to your local hard drive. Now you will have real time playback without any frame dropping. If you change your mind and want to tweak that animation, you can always right click and revert it back to original clip. So you can go back to Fusion and make further adjustments. And the best part, when you are ready for the final render, you won't need to resize the timeline anymore since it's already set to the correct resolution. This means your final render will be up to 10 times faster. We have covered a lot in this tutorial. So take a break if you need to, bookmark this video, come back and rewatch it when you run into any issue. And don't hesitate to comment below if you need more help. This is why we are here for. We teach original DaVinci Resolve tutorial that you wouldn't find anywhere else on the internet. Well, at least not until those copycats show up. It will mean a lot if you could subscribe and hit 
the notification bell. And if you found this tutorial helpful, please share it on your social media or in the install to see support form. Help others who are facing the same challenge. Those struggling with image quality in the install to see Facebook group are probably following the wrong tutorial. Share the love, pay it forward, and let's help everyone create better content together. And if you are looking for the free DaVinci Resolve workflow, not the studio version, but the absolutely free one that still keep the 100% of your AK resolution right here, I've got you covered. Check out that tutorial right here. Watch it now and I will see you there to help you save $200.